once you know the work is aligned with your strengths, your energy, your values as an owner, as a business in the design stage, you do give some thought to what is your ideal outcome for this business area or project? What is your ideal impact on the intended audience? And then you're designing the process so that by the time you assign it, you're more clear. You're assigning not just the work and a checklist, you're actually assigning the outcome and the impact. And you're getting somebody mm. on board with the vision. Yes, for the whole company is great. And I saw you have your company vision and mission and values right there on the website. That stuff's all really good and important. But I also think before delegating anything, even a project, even a stream of income is getting clear on that impact outcomes and the process so that when you delegate, it's so much clearer. Okay. And I always like to explain my logic too. I'm always sharing with my team and here's why we do it like that. Or here's the logic. Even just today, I'm onboarding a new podcast production team. And I said to them, yes, you can send me the draft of the show notes in a Google doc, but if you do not hear back from me on time, please go ahead and draft and schedule that episode in Megaphone anyway. Don't let me hold up the process. And I think that's another thing that as business owners, it's very easy to become the bottleneck where everybody is peppering you with questions or waiting on you to give them what they need, approve something for next steps. And everything starts to just pile up on mm -hmm. the owner's digital desk. And I just find that I need to continually right. week after week say to the team, do not let me get in the way. Keep moving and I'll check in on mm. things even if it's already live. I can make edits. It's not the end of the world. 